Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony and in today's video we're going to take a look at how to do file sharing on a Synology NAS as well as creating a file request. So if this is your first time visiting the channel, please be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. So I'm signed into my Synology and I just want to point out, I'm connected through a VPN connection and that's only because my Synology is in another location, not on the same network that I'm currently connected to. And that's not going to be required of you to have a VPN connection to do what I'm about to show you in this video. However, what is required is having a Synology Quick Connect account. Now you probably have one from when you initially set up your Synology device. However, if you didn't do it at that time, you can create one now just by clicking on the control panel, clicking on the quick connect icon here, and then establishing your account. Now that said, let's get started with the rest of the video. So in this first example, I'm going to show you how to create and share a folder over the internet with a third party. Now, that comes in really handy if you're collaborating on a project together and the person or persons you're collaborating with live in various locations. That said, let's get started. We're going to come over to the file station. The first thing we're going to do is create a folder. Now we can click create here to create the folder or we can come down to the white area here and right click and then click on create folder, which is what we're going to do since we're here. But either way would work. And just give your folder a name. You can call it whatever makes sense for you. I'm just going to call it YouTube Demo. And we'll click OK. Let's open up the folder. And you can see there's nothing in there. So let's drag some files in. So let me come over to my desktop. I just happen to have a couple of files here that I can drag up to the Synology. And it asks if you want to overwrite the files or skip. And since there aren't any files in this location, we're going to just go ahead and say skip. And there are the three files copied up to the Synology. So now we're back here and here's your, here's the YouTube demo folder that I just created. The next step is to right click on that folder that you wish to share and come all the way down in the menu and click on share. In this next window, you see the file path to the folder, and here's the share link. This is the link that you would send to the person that you want to give access to this folder. Now, before you could stop right here, click save, and you're good to go. However, you could set some parameters as well, and that's what I just want to show you. We're not going to actually set them, but I want to show you what's available. You can enable secure sharing and just share the folder with other DSM users on the Synology, or you can share with others publicly and assign a password to that folder. But we're not going to do either right now. I just wanted to let you know that those are options. Some more options, you can set a validity period. So for example, you didn't want this folder to always be available at all times. You just want to set a limit, let's say of a week. Well, you could set the start time, start date, and the actual start time. And then during the setup, you could set a stop time. And again, you could set the stop date and the stop time. In addition to, let's say, narrowing it down to just that week, you could also set the number of times access is allowed to that folder. For example, within that start and stop time that you specify, if you click and enable number of allowed access, you can say during that time period, you can only access the folder, for example, 10 times. Now, you don't only have to use the start and stop time to allow a certain number of attempts to access the folder. You can use this feature here without setting a start time. So for example, you could just say after the 10th time, this link and folder will no longer be available. So I just wanted to let you know that those were some options and parameters you could set. So we'll close that. And one other thing is the get QR code here. If you want, instead of emailing this link, to the other person. You can actually get a QR code and send them the QR, the QR code instead. Now that being said, let's go ahead and let me copy this and let's save this. And now all I would have to do is send that link out to 
the other person so that they can access the shared folder. Okay, so now that we've created the shared folder and we have the link, let me disconnect from the VPN. So I'm no longer connected to the Synology. Let me bring up another window and let's paste in that link and see if it actually works. As you can see, it's attempting to connect. Okay, so we've made the connection to the Synology using the link to that shared folder. And you can see the name of the right here. It says YT demo, which is what we call the folder. We can download all of the contents of the folder just by clicking on download folder. Or let's just say we wanted to access this one file. Once you click on the file, it just gives you the option to download that one file. So this is a great way of being able to collaborate on a project with someone uh, makes it very simple for sending data back and forth. In the next scenario, I'm going to show you how to create a file request. Now, what's the difference between a file request and what I just showed you? Well, let's just say you really don't have a need to collaborate with somebody back and forth, but you just need to receive files from someone, but you're not actually going to be sending files back or dropping files into the folder. That's what we're going to create in the next scenario. So in the first scenario, I showed you how to share a folder with someone that could possibly live in another state so that you can collaborate and send files back and forth to each other. In this next scenario, we're going to create a file request. And like I said earlier, that's where maybe you just need to receive files from someone, but you're not going to be sending files back and forth with that person. So that's called a file, creating a file request. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's create another folder. So we're back here in the file station. I'm just going to right click to create another folder. And we'll call this YouTube demo two. I know I'm very creative and say, okay. So we have our YouTube demo folder and now we have our YouTube demo two. We're going to right click on the YouTube demo two folder, but instead of saying share, we're going to say create file request. And in this window here, you see the file path. And here's the link that you would actually send to somebody so that they can send you files or drop files into that folder. You can put a little message here. You can enable a password just like last time. You could also set that validity period. You could set the start time, date and time, stop time, date and time. And again, the number of allowed accesses if you wish. But we're not going to do that for now. So let's go ahead and we'll copy this link. And then we'll go ahead and say, hello, my friend, please upload the files here. That's fine for the message. Let's go ahead and say save. And now let's disconnect from our VPN. Let's bring up a new tab and let's paste in the link just to test it out. You can see we're making the attempt to connect again to the Synology. There you go. So this time, instead of seeing the folder and the contents of the folder, the other person just has like say a portal here where he can just drag and drop files in. So you can put your name in for argument's sake and then pretending I'm the other person, let's just grab one of these files and drag it in. You can see it adds the file here. You can add more files if you wish and just go ahead and say upload. Got the little green check mark that the file was uploaded. So now, let me connect back to the VPN so we can jump back over to the Synology. And now let's take a look in that demo folder and see that YouTube demo two folder and see if that file is there. And there's a folder. Okay. So there's a folder it created 
with my name, and then there's the file that I dragged up. So if you found value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos listed up above. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like and share. And thanks again for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions as always. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.